guys what's up Rajat from VFX world welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine this is element 3d another amazing episode from season 2 so without wasting any further time let's get started okay so first of all guys we are right now in after effects and today we are trying to recreate this amazing photo and uh, we are not showing you the animation process the process is exactly same like a normal animations previously I created this one and the current output which is uh, this one both the process are exactly same so let's get started so first of all you have to go to the software called quixel mixer when you open the software you can find out this welcome screen and and over there you just no need to do anything just click this wet mud effect which is really needed for this tutorial just click and just press open so when you open this you can exactly see this kind of amazing uh, photorealistic texture and I think most of you guys already know about this software called quixel mixer because I already made a video on this but that was based on 3ds max photorealistic render by using visual effects in VDA but this is based on element 3d so first of all what you have to do you just have to go to this export button no need to change any other settings and after that what you have to do you just have to check out all this texture you need only the albedo map which is your diffuse map and all also the normal map no need to use the roughness and the displacement map only need this normal and then video map now talking about the textures you can really import the textures on like 8k 2k or like 1k and all I prefer it like 4k is pretty nice because when you export it in on 8k it will pretty heavy to export that so when you're happy with your export and folder this is like this is my export folder just simply press to export to the desk it will automatically export on your folder and guys if you still not watch that video where I'll describe each and everything on this quixel mixer software you can really check out this video you can exactly see the photo of the thumbnail in front of your screen so go and check it out now let's jump into the after effects so guys here we're back in after effects and let's start taking a new comp here so first of all let's try to create a new comp here I'm taking a different comp size which is I'm not using usually so let's take it like uh, 1080 by 1350 and uh, name it to like a uh, tutorial and then press ok so this is exactly Instagram uh, like comp size so if you really want to post anything on Instagram reel or something this comp size is pretty nice which is exactly 1080 by 1350 okay so let's create a new solid and uh, the color should be black and uh, make it to comp size and name it to e3d press ok from effects controls go to video copilot and element and then click to the scene setup instead of scene setup we have to take a normal plane here just like this and increase the size to something around 803 which is something like that and just turn on the environment because for this tutorial we really need to focus on our environment because if you uh, like choose a random environment the output will not come properly so go to this presets first and the environment here I have different environments like 4k 2k so let's select something from here so let's select this one so this is my environment and if you notice this is pretty high and fully exposed so go to this environment settings where I'll decrease it the gamma to uh, something around uh, this one like 94 and increase the brightness to something like this one yeah this is fine okay then just press ok so this is really needed to underexpose this everything okay now talking about the textures go to this default and from the diffuse you have to import that albedo map so click here and load texture so this is my exported folder I exported previously the all the textures you can see the albedo map displacement map displacement map in PNG this is an EXR format same displacement map but you can find the details more on the EXR you can exactly import the normal map in EXR format as well so we need this one and this one so first of all select the albedo map here so it will automatically come here it will take a bit time because as I told this is a 4k texture and then just simply press ok now you can see the albedo map is reflecting here as well pretty nice just turn off the draft texture so that you can exactly see all the details of the texture pretty clearly you can see it's already looking super nice now going to the normal bump just load the texture of this normal bump here and just simply press ok so now guys you can exactly see it's already started looking amazing and now we have to change the reflection mode to reflectivity mirror surface so now if you can see few areas are reflecting as in water and few areas are in displaced if you really want to increase something from a normal map you can really uh, do that less like this I'm just increasing a bit just a bit okay so now this is fine and just for the environment I'm just increasing the brightness to something around uh, what you can say like uh, 50 or yeah this one is pretty nice so that the water reflections will getting increased and you can see it's hitting on the ground pretty well 
okay so this area is done we have to go to our jet strike pack to import our flight model here so here i'm taking the ground sets here and just click and drag and drop out of the group you're gonna find out this will come up here and now you have to change all the settings from here to standard to the physical because you really need to change everything to the physical material because uh, this is the way which you have to do and uh, that's it so this is created now select this material of the body really need to change some settings in the glossiness panel so just increase the glossiness a bit high so now you can exactly see something reflected on this ground here on the body and same thing for reflectivity as well so just it should be reflect a proper way on the body of the flight controls just like that and press ok and no need to change anything just go down just increase the reflectivity to 100% now you can exactly see this much things are reflecting on this flight model okay now let's decrease the glossiness on reflectivity a bit down just a bit down not too much and uh, this one is fine and if you really want to decrease the diffuse color to little black you can exactly do it just decrease it just a little black and yeah this is fine now we need to uh, like detach this uh, controllers here or you can call this as a propeller because we really need to rotate all the propellers on their axis so for that what you have to do select this one and just drag and drop into this uh, new group and make it to group 2 this is the very first step now select it and just press to control D or duplicate this by pressing right click and duplicate the model so now let's rename this one as in like uh, lids and after that what you have to do just select this one and just hide this so that only this much is here and just click on this button so now you can find all the settings and all the model set in separate separate mode so you can find out left propeller, left propeller, right propeller and right propeller. So you have to select these four just like this and press alt on your keyboard and click on this one. So what happened only this will automatically isolate and these areas are automatically hide like that. Now same thing you have to do on this model also but in different way. So only this one has only the blades here you can see there is only the blades. So first of all just turn this off and turn it on here and now you can see the blades are here on the real model so just click here and you have to go down to this uh, right propeller right propeller left and rift like this and then just press ctrl and shift and click anyone from here just like that so now what happened these four are gone and only this much areas like these models are being isolated so what happened this one is your flight and this is on only the blades here which is separated completely pretty nice guys so now select the blades let's color this to this bright color like double click here so it's colored just like this and let's change it to normal back again and select the colors to bit more orangish or you can say like this kind of colors so that it's highlighted a pretty bright okay so that's it now select this uh, flights and reflection mode should be uh, like spherical this one also reflection mode uh, should be spherical okay that's it pretty nice all set good now what you have to do just simply press ok and let's jump back to after effects okay here we go we are right now in after effects so take a new camera just uh, taking a 50 millimeter camera you can take anything i'm just taking 50 millimeter and rotate the plane like this so now we have to increase the ground plane this is the most important step and we need to increase it on this axis right now you can see this is already looking like a diamond kind of thing so you have to increase it on this axis so first of all select element 3d and go to this group 2 and you can find out the create group and null create one null object here this is your main flight control just press uh, p to up it like this and you can see this is your flight so just uh, go to element 3d and turn off the group 2 first and go to group 1 go to particle replicator from point make it to 3d grid and just leave the y axis like a normal and now increase the x scale to bit high and let's match with this and increase the z scale as well to match it like this so now you happened this areas we have long exposed area so now go back to something around this area now you have to make sure the main focus should be on any reflected surface okay that that means like the flight it's exactly should be on any kind of reflected surface so just check the camera positions now why increase the plane size the reason is we need to get some depth of field and some bit of fog for this area so that's why you need a long uh, like field area so that's why i created this uh, big scale of plane okay so now select element 3d and uh, group 2 just turn on group 2 so that you can find out your flight here uh, select group null object and press p here just like this and you can exactly like move it 
on your main axis so you have to move it in front of your screen okay so here we go so this is already here like this and let's reposition it a bit so that it should reflect on this water the main target is that like flight reflection should be on the water so first of all you have to make sure the positions there should be like exactly properly now see you can see the reflections are uh, pretty nice here like this and now press R for the rotations and let's rotate the flights to match as much as I can to my main output and let's rotate it a bit okay so the position settings are exactly done and right now we have to do several more settings to light setups like fog settings and all so let's start it so first of all select element 3d and no need to change anything on any groups here go to render settings and after that in the render settings you have to select the lights change the light to dramatic so that you can find some bit lights here go to physical environment and turn on the show in bg now you can see exactly on the bg it like that and rotation let's change it to something around 1 by 40 i exactly did the same on the before and let's rotate it just a bit to see some light reflections will be coming up here and let's not move it yeah this much is fine okay after that uh, you have to take a new light here just take a new light parallel light and the color should be a bit blue i need a bit blue color just like this and press okay cast shadow should be on press p to change the uh, light positions here i need the light should be uh, focused on this types of color now see some blue lights are coming up here and what i exactly need here so just a bit highlighted parts here and uh, yeah that's it this is fine now select element 3d and uh, go back to ambient occlusion turn on ao and make it to ray trace this is also most important step and go to shadows and turn on shadow and from here ray trace now you can see some reflections are up here okay so now how do you have to do select the fog turn on fog and color should be match with the environment so i'm just making it something like uh, blue and uh, after that increase the fog opacity to 80 percent and increase the depth should be just like this don't make it too much and don't make it less just make should be a match with the environment now in this kind of output the main work will be your focusing the motion blurs and all so these things are really uh, needed for this okay so now what you have to do just have to uh, like animate the propellers a bit so for that what you have to do just go to group 2 and here you can find this many rig controls here okay see this is uh, like elevators and all this is turbine so if you just go to this turbine you can exactly see this is started moving so select the turbine here and you can just move it to like something around 10 frames and all and just what you have to do increase it to something like uh, 15 or 12 something like that so now what happened the turbines are started rotating now on the first frame the motion blur will not come when you turn on the motion blur in the middle of this frame the motion blur something will come up here so just turn on your motion blur here so now you can exactly see this is uh, exactly look like when you turn on your motion blur now this is very very less so what i'll have to do i'll just have to increase it uh, pretty high so just go back to this one and let's increase it to something 25 and let's see how it's exactly look like now see this is started looking the fan is rotating if you really want to increase it more because it's exactly rotating pretty high so make it to 50 and now let's see on the middle of the frame yes which is exactly needed this so now what you have to do uh, just select element 3d and just duplicate control d and name it to the light and then elimination to eliminate this lights from here and select this and just go output and from composite change it to elimination and what happened only this illuminated part will be visible let's turn off the null object from here and from here just take it a glow and double click the glow here so the glow will hit up here and increase the glow size just a bit and decrease it to the thresholds and all and after that toggle switches from normal change it to add or else you can change it to screen it's completely up to you and uh, if you really want to change the colors here you can really do that i just want to increase it a bit and three shows uh, just like that glow intensity a little bit high now talking about the depth of field go to the camera camera options turn on the depth of field you can exactly see some bit depth of field are coming up here and it's looking super realistic when you turn on the depth of field now let's adjust the positions here so to match with the flight so i just have to focus on the flight okay the focus is set and now you can exactly see it's looking super super real now for the last thing which is i have to do that is called color correction so i'll get back to you after done the color correction okay guys so color correction is done now you can see it's also looking more realistic than like previous and if you notice 
these things are looking very weird like the rotations of the fan you can exactly see the fan rotation and also the glow this is only happening for this output settings so if you really increase the multi sampleism and enhance multi sampleism it will automatically fix but i am not doing this here because it can be crash your system so make sure you have to check out your system preference and then do all the rest of the parts so i think guys this is it for today and i hope you really enjoyed this amazing photo realistic creation process inside of element 3d and if you really like our all the videos then don't forget to subscribe to our channel vfx world and make sure it should be cross 50k very very soon and i'll be back with more amazing content on next week till then have fun stay home keep watching keep rocking vfx world